Investors cheered Donald Trump's uh, plans of gradual restarting the U.S. economy. On Friday, futures on the U.S. stock indexes rebounded over 2 percent. The news on a successful test of the coronavirus treatment also contributed to the positive market sentiment. This lifted appetite for risk thus putting pressure on the U.S. dollar. As hopes for the better had brought comfort to the market, investors shrugged off fears about the collapse in the global economy. Macroeconomic data published this week clearly indicates a looming slowdown. According to the optimistic scenario, reopening of the global economy will not entail massive layoffs in the long term. Such expectations rest on China's experience. All major factories there have been restarted, but small businesses are now operating at 80% of their capacity. Industrial production in China dropped 8.4% in March, is in a pace of contraction from a 13% slump in months earlier. Futures on the Dow Jones gained to nearly 1.5% in the early New York trade. Nevertheless, the coronavirus rate has increased sharply in the two recent days. In the latest 24 hours, the number of the cases has spiked by almost 100,000 worldwide. Financial markets have been unaffected by such figures because the question is open whether the pandemic will continue spreading spreading at alarming rates. If the negative prediction comes true, pessimism will again hit the market. But now the US dollar index failed to develop a steady rally. It did not stay at 100 points for long. Today, amid the risk on mood, the index retreated from a one-week high that was reached yesterday. The index opened the New York trade today at near 99.70. Nevertheless, the US currency is still regnant in, in Forex despite a minor decline. The commodity currencies are sensitive to the risk sentiment, so they are gaining ground against the US dollar. The Canadian dollar is no exception. The loonie has been winning back earlier losses for the most day on Friday. But it's dealt its climb in the late New York trade as the US dollar halted its correctional decline. The USD cut pair is trading slightly higher at 1.4038 in the evening session. The Canadian dollar has been wound down by mixed dynamics in the oil market. WTI fell on Friday in response to Donald Trump's plans. The North American benchmark slumped below $19 a barrel for the first time since 2002. In the evening, it accelerated a downtrend, having sank even below $18. The U.S. energy sector has been badly hurt, so Trump's administration is making efforts to mitigate major crises in the oil industry. On Friday, Bitcoin is extending a winning stick. The most popular cryptocurrency climbed to above $7,100 per token. A trade volume in the BTC market is holding steadily at about $40 billion. Meanwhile, Bitcoin is still unable to surpass the level of $7,100. At present, Bitcoin is trading under higher volatility, which is the key feature of the crypto market. Bitcoin fans believe in the good prospects of the crypto industry. That's all for today. We wish you profitable deals and have a nice weekend. See you on our channel with a new video on Monday.